Hello everyone. So I thought I would refilm my how to moisturize and seal your hair video because it, it seems to have confused so many of you. Let's jump right into this. This will be a pretty short and sweet video, but before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell beside the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my content here on YouTube. So why do we moisturize and seal hair? So I love this method of hydrating hair because relaxed hair is a bit delicate and prone to dryness and damage. So infusing the hair shaft with hydration and moisture keeps it more elastic. Therefore, when you comb it out, it has that much more give so that it doesn't snap off and break right away. Moisturizing and sealing your hair also boosts the hair's shine and gloss and overall healthy looking factors. So I love that. And when the hair is hydrated and moisturized, it won't break as much. Therefore, you will see better growth, better, healthier growth. So what products do I use to moisturize and seal my hair? Okay, so here are some of the products that I use as a moisturizer. And I'll start with the ones that, um, they're not necessarily my favorites, but they are quite good. So I bought this Cara Care Humecto Cream Conditioner. I'm gonna be honest, I thought it was a lousy conditioner. It didn't do well for detangling my hair and it was just too light and crummy, but, I mix it with water and use it as a moisturizer and I feel it does a really good job at that. The only thing with doing that is I find it doesn't make hair as shiny as my favorite moisture products. The other one I use is Kate Estes Nutritive 8 Hour Magic Night Serum. So I really love this. This is a wonderful overnight treatment that really leaves hair feeling soft and beautiful the following morning but there is a lot of protein in this, so if your hair is suffering from protein overload, use this sparingly. I will usually use this treatment once um, every, let's say, relaxer cycle, so once every two months or so, and I usually use this one as a moisturizer coming up to a relaxer, just to keep my hair that much more soft and manageable. How's Reese? Okay, so Reese has joined us again. That's uh, the tri him kicking the tripod. <laughs> okay, so another moisturizer that I use, and this is one that, you know, it's effective, but it's not great. Um, I use it when I run out of my favorite stuff, is Pantene Conditioning Hair Mist Detangler, Moisture Detangler. I thought this was a pretty lousy detangler, a pretty lousy leave-in conditioner. Um, I use leave-in conditioners after washing my hair to detangle my hair and make my hair that much more soft. And I felt it didn't do anything for my hair, but it works pretty solidly as a hair moisturizer. So, you know, you can reach for this every night, every other night as the first step in your moisturization process. By far, my favorite moisturizer is my trusty Lusters S Curl No Drip Curl Activating Moisturizer. I buy this at Walmart, like any um, you know, pharmacy, it's pretty readily available. I think it does a fantastic job at conditioning hair, making it soft. When you need a relaxer and you have a whole lot of new growth, it makes that growth curly and wavy and shiny like very Billy Dee Williams back in the 80s. I adore this. I think it does a really good job. It's a polarizing product. Um, in my style domination uh, relaxed hair society, I would say half the people love it and the other half hate it and I'll let you know why. For sealants, I use oils and I prefer heavier oils. Not Jamaican black castor oil or Haitian black castor oil heavy, but something that is a little thicker to coat the hair shaft and really seal in the moisture that you've just put in. I feel olive oils, um, what was the other one I was using? They're, they're just a little too light, so I'll use sweet almond oil that I get at the grocery store or the health food store once a month with the Keta Staz Nutritive Overnight Hair Treatment. I will moisturize my hair with this stuff and then I will seal it with the K Discipline Oleo Relax Advanced Morpho Wheel. <laughs> I try to go easy on this stuff because it's expensive, it's liquid gold, it has keratin in it, it has protein in it, but products of the same line are designed to work really well together and that's exactly what these two do. They work 
really well together. What I've been using lately to seal my hair is Gizu's Honey Infused Hair Oil by Nagan Mersalehi. She's one of my favorite influencers. She is Persian and has this absolutely fantastic flowing mane of hair. She has totally different hair to me and she has long, I would say white girl hair, but um, her products are widely well reviewed. So I thought I would try this out. I bought it myself with my own money during a Sephora sale. So this stuff smells lovely. You guys know I am a big fan of beautiful Luxe scents and this smells like an elevated perfume. It's beautiful, but most importantly, it does a really, really great job of coating hair and sealing that moisture in that you've just put in. So something that's served my hair really well lately is, well, I've stopped combing it. It's the pandemic, I'm not going anywhere, I work from home, so combing and styling with heat tools and all of this is no longer really necessary for me. I still do it every now and then. And because of that, because of that huge reduction in manipulation, my hair has thrived, it's grown, and it feels stronger, the elasticity has boosted, like it's just fantastic. So the reason I'm pointing this out is because usually before when I'd moisturize and seal, I would comb my hair out with my wide tooth comb, but now I just don't really feel that that's necessary. So what I do is I section my hair into, let's say, eight big sections, and I just, you know, finger section them off like this. You guys are gonna get mad. I, I know a lot of you don't like it when I wear black clothing when, in my hair videos, but I forgot, I'm sorry. Anyways, I section them off into like four sections on each side of the head, and then I add my Luster's S-Curl Moisturizer to each section. So, just to make this a bit easier, I am going to section off just these four. I'll put them into loose twists. So, really important. I moisturize and seal my hair with the Luster's S-Curl Moisturizer and that Gizu hair oil when I wash and go. I, you cannot use this method when you flat ironed your hair. You can't expect to put a wet moisturizer on your hair and not expect it to weigh down your hair and not make your hair feel oily and greasy. Okay, so I think that's what confused people with my last Moisturize and Seal video. They thought that um, they could go have their hair blown out or flat ironed out or silk pressed and then use this method of moisturization. That'll just revert your hair. That'll just sort of ruin that beautiful hairdo. So I wash my hair, squeeze the excess water out of it with an old towel or that, or a microfiber towel or head wrap and then I whip it up into a bun, and then the following night I start my moisturize and seal process. So you can moisturize and seal your hair every single night. If you are prone to like dryness and breakage, I would recommend every night, but I do my, I moisturize and seal. My routine is every other night or every three nights, okay? Because I just feel it can get weighed down really fast, and when you're moisturizing and sealing that often, your hair gets dirtier, more weighed down, and when you're moisturizing and sealing a lot, you will have to clarify your hair with a good clarifying shampoo more often, okay? Especially if you're using heavy, greasy products. So what I do is I take about two, three pumps. That's the consistency. And there, I just rub it from root to tip. So I'm just gonna put it back into twists. The only reason I'm twisting my hair is just to keep it's easy to manage, you know, so I, I know which sections I've moisturized. Don't forget to get the nape of the neck. And I've always given this advice, when you are deep conditioning your hair with your favorite deep conditioners, you should put the deep conditioner on the areas that need it the most, the driest um, areas that are most prone to breakage. I would do the same with your moisturizer. 
All right, now for sealing your hair, I'm gonna take the Gizu. Sucked up a bit there. It's quite viscous for an oil. I guess that's the honey in it. So I don't usually use that much oil per section. Oh, that smells lovely. So I did, I would say that was, I would use like three drops of this per section and I did like eight. So I'm gonna do two to three sections. I'm gonna use all that oil on three sections. There we go. From root to tip, there we go. I'm just going to twist that those three sections into one. And look at that already. Look at that shine. So the shine is boosted. Look at that. It's lovely. I just love this. You know what? At the end of the day, this process I find along with my skincare routine is just very relaxing and sets the tone for a good night's sleep. So that's another thing I wanted to broach with you guys. I think it is best to do this process at night because then you wrap your hair and all of these lovely products have an opportunity to sink into hair and really moisturize it. Um, but I get lazy and I'll do it as I'm getting ready, like after my makeup and then I, I just like the look of my hair. It looks shiny and lovely, especially when it's, um, well, I always put it up into a bun afterwards. I'm just getting the nape. So yeah, you can do it morning or night, but I think it's better to do it at night. Okay, sorry, I just kicked my husband out of the room because he's making all this noise. If he weren't so cute. <laughs> all right, I cleaned up the part uh, using my rat tail comb. I've got my wet, dry brush because, uh, like I said, we're going to go out and walk the dog, so I do want it to look smooth. And um, I wouldn't normally use my wet, dry brush. I, I would just use my paddle brush to just smooth it down. And at night, like, I don't even brush it or comb it. Um, I just wrap it up in my headscarf and go to bed. So I'm just going to throw it up into a bun now. I'm using my old crummy paddle brush. Do not use old hair tools. I'm not even taking my own advice. I bought a new brush. Cannot find it. Wet brush sent me a new paddle brush, but it's in my office and I can't find it. <laughs> so can I just look at that? I live for that. Look at how shiny that stuff makes your hair. Don't look at my Arctic highlights, AKA gray hairs, but I, I just, oh, I love it. I love it. I'm using an elastic band. They're not my favorite. I find they, they pull on your hair, pull it out, but I um, cannot find my little silk scrunchies. The dog likes to play with them. He runs off with them and hides them. <laughs> So I just back brush it into my favorite low bun. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Sometimes I'll put it off to the side. I think that's a really pretty look. And what I do to reduce breakage on the hair is I don't put the elastic band around the hair just yet. I twist my hair into that bun. And then I put the elastic band around the bun. Okay, so I'm doing this blind. I don't know how great that looks. So I'm just pulling it out so it looks less like olive oil from Popeye. You guys are too young probably to know who she is. Google her. And I'm just going to turn around and show you the bun. I hope you can see it. The things we do for YouTube. See that? Last step in the process are these annoying fuzzies at the, na the nape. So I put just a little bit, oh, I'm running out. What I do, what works best I find is wetting my hair with water, the nape hair. And then I put the Luster, Luster's S Curl Moisturizer on those little 
things and over the course of the day it'll turn into a ringlet so I'm just gonna help it along here there I don't know kind of lame sorry I'm just gonna clean up that bun or attempt to it's got some fuzzies smooth down my edges And I'll just do one drop of oil. I don't like putting too much hair product on the nape of my neck because it makes me break out back there, which is gross. There, and I just seal it with oil. And um, that's how I got the nape of my hair to grow back, moisturizing it continually. So it'll look a little lame right now, but over the course of the day, it when it dries, well, it'll dry like in the next 10 minutes or so. It'll dry into like little baby curls, which looks cute. So guys, that is my moisturize and seal process. I hope this clears up any questions that um, you guys had from my last video. Just to hammer this home again, I only use this moisturize and seal process when I wash and go, when I put my hair up into a bun and it's not you know out you cannot expect to flat iron your hair use the dyson air wrap on your hair and get those big voluminous curls um get a blowout and then expect to put these wet heavy oily products on your hair and not expect it to be weighed down and greasy and and have movement like this is strictly for when you're wearing your hair up or doing a twist out, so on and so forth. I know you guys are looking for ways to moisturize your flat ironed hair, to moisturize your hair that's been silk pressed or whatever. So there are ways to do that. I use serums for that and I have filmed a whole video on how to moisturize your, your flat ironed, blown out, silk pressed hair okay there are ways to do that love you thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video please like it don't forget to subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram at dominique.baker i'm overhauling my website yet again so you can expect blog posts to follow shortly love you love you love you have a great day